In this scenario, a ship is going to berth port seed along the quay. The wind is strong and offshore, from the east, no current. The docking water area is narrow. In this situation, because of the strong offshore wind, and limitation of water room, and without tug support, it is required to send proper ropes to the quay. Then adjust the rope's length and tension to bring the ship alongside the quay. Before going to the detailed maneuvering steps, watch the video in a fast time run, to see how the ship is handled to berth the key in this situation. Because the offshore wind is from the east, it trends to push the ship off the key. To reduce the windage effect, the ship should approach at a steep angle. When the ship is just off the berth, the balanced stern lines should be sent to the key in time to hold the ship, then the stern line should be heaved to bring the stern inwards the key, and pull the vessel alongside. Maneuvering Steps There are mainly four basic steps. Step 1. Approach the berth at a steep angle to reduce the windage effect on the vessel. Prepare a bowline, forward bow spring and stern line to be sent to the key. The stern line should be passed from the forward position. Approach the berth at a dead slow ahead speed. Step 2. Stop engines. The ship continues approaching the berth. Step 3. Engines are stern to stop the bow just off the berth. Pass a bowling and the forward bow spring to the key. The forward bow spring support to hold the bow part and prevent the ship from moving forward. Pass the stern line from the forward position, and carry the mooring up the key. Step 4. Heave on the stern line to pull the stern inwards the key. Adjust the tension, and the length of the forward bow spring to bring the ship alongside, and in the desired position. In this scenario, the ship model is a container vessel. Her length is 160 meters, breadth is 27 meters, and the draft is 8.4 meters. The ship is fully loaded and fixed with a single right-handed propeller. The wind direction is 270 degrees east with a speed of 20 knots. The video speed is set 20 times faster than in the real time.
The bowling should be sent to the key using a heaving line from the wharf, rather than the ship's heaving line, to gain the benefit of wind. A mooring boat employed to carry the stern line ashore would eliminate the need to pass the stern mooring forward. Once the ship is alongside, forward and aft abreast, lines should be moored up to reduce the possibility of the vessel being blown off the quayside. Number and type of mooring ropes should be calculated to ensure that the whole mooring arrangement is strong enough to hold the ship. This video is just a maneuvering scenario, run and simulation for a ship model. In practice, each ship has different maneuverability and windage effect. Thus, it is necessary to adjust the time taken steps and apply the propellers and the rudders properly to control the ship and use suitable mooring ropes to obtain the best maneuvering performance.